So Joe Biden went on 60 Minutes and said he's willing to go to war with China. Chinese President Xi know about your commitment to Taiwan. We agree with what we signed on to a long time ago. And that there's a one China policy that Taiwan makes their own judgments about their independence. We are not moving. We're not encouraging them being independent. We're not. That's their decision. But would U.S. forces defend the island? Yes. If, in fact, there was an unprecedented attack. After our interview. <laughs> so there's Joe Biden saying, yep, we're going to do a war with China. Now, here is uh, our, one of my favorite members of the European European Parliament. Uh, Claire Daly. She's going to talk about this. Thanks very much, President. I really feel that the European Union has to cop itself on if we don't want to get caught up in the US efforts to destabilize the Taiwan Strait in the manner in which they have done with Ukraine at such enormous cost to the citizens of Europe, be they Ukrainian, Russian, or indeed citizens of the EU itself. If we're worried about cross-strait tensions, we shouldn't be doing anything to make them worse. For decades, the One China policy has guaranteed stability and peace in the Taiwan Strait. It doesn't give anybody everything that they want, but it gives everybody enough to avoid the possibility of war. And yet we see this ambiguity being dismantled by ignorant fanatics in the U.S. administration and Congress and a foolish appetite by some in the EU for a confrontation with China, with, of course, China predictably responding we risk a runaway escalation. The tough guy act can be emotionally satisfying for some, but it's reckless, stupid, immature foreign policy. If we care about the people of Taiwan, we shouldn't be dismantling the arrangements that have protected them for decades. Do we really want another war? Do our citizens? Yes. Of course, the arms industry <laughs> in the US here. do. <laughs> the ar- right? Yes, so yes. Wow. Hey, lady, was your first day? <laughs> yeah, first first day at the European yeah, Parliament. Yeah, we want a war. Of course they want a war. Yes, this is big money, billions and billions of dollars, baby. What are you, from Ireland or something? <laughs> I like they'll have Billy Connolly hair, no matter what. <laughs> they'll get that longish. You're an older man with long white hair. I'm, uh... I can't believe that the citizens in Europe and citizens of the United States are just letting this happen. I know it's because they're propagandized and they believe that Ukraine is, you know, fighting the good fight. They also and- don't care, like, especially here, because I always think I've only met, met a couple people. Most of them were drivers of lifts that were from another country that talked about it at all. I've never met almost no one that's brought up Ukraine outside of talking about it, like with this show or something. So people don't even think about it really that much unless they when their heat like in Germany goes that's probably when Yeah, that's really what I'm start. talking about. Yeah. Like that the pe- people are burning their energy bills and they're but I don't understand why they're Americans we have uh biggest inflation in 40 years. We have high energy prices, we still don't have jobs, we have homeless people around on every street corner and they're sending billions of dollars over to Hey, how about that hundred billions of dollars that Pfizer made off the vaccine? How about they take half of it and fix homelessness? All they got to do now is take is half of it. Run a few stories about that the Little Mermaid is going to be black and everybody has distracted. Yeah, from I know that on. you're exactly right. That's literally, what that point of all that nonsense is, is to, to distract. Program I know you. January sixth too. It's all to yeah. distract people from this. So they don't want people to see what what we're really doing. Instead of using money to help people in the United States, we're taking that money to kill people in other countries so we could grift that money upward to the international security state. They're planning their next war like an addict. So when they go, are you planning your next high? That's we, we already got the... Yeah. <laughs> we're already ready. Virginia Beach, Richmond, Arlington, San Jose, Miami, West Palm Beach. Go to jimmydorkcomedy.com for a link for all the tickets and become a premium member while you're there. Mm-hmm. 